What up, what up? This is Compass Unfiltered, and I'm your host, Checo. This is your co-host, Noe. What up? Yes, sir. If this is your first time listening to us or watching us, definitely subscribe to the YouTube. Follow all of our social media. Links will be below. You got to check out the Facebook, the Instagram, the Twitter, all that. Um, today, we have a, a solo podcast. Nomás me and el compa Noe. Este, we have a couple of announcements. Kind of excited, bro. I don't know about you. Super excited, brother. <laughs> Always some good stuff. Always some good announcements, bro. Always, always. Um, we're actually doing some giveaways, but we'll announce them throughout the podcast. The first one, I am, I am going to give you guys a a break on or whatever. I'm, I'm going to let you guys know we're doing a giveaway on our Instagram. So whenever this podcast drops, which would be, obviously, it drops every Wednesday. I don't know the actual date, you know, off topic. Nah, not off top. Uh, I can check though real quick. It's not going to take long. May 5th? It is actually Cinco de Mayo, compadre. Is it Cinco de Mayo? Yep. Damn, perfect. Cinco okay. de Mayo giveaway. Or- si- yeah, yeah, fuck it. Cinco de Mayo giveaway. On our Instagram, 8 p.m. Um, definitely keep on keep on the lookout on our Instagram. We're going to put out a code, a gift card to Amazon. So if you do hear this, you already know what it's for. Get the code and... Plug it up, man. Yeah, get, get the there. code and add it to your account because if somebody beats you to it, then they'll have that credit on their account. You see? So you got to be quick with it. You got to be real quick. So if you listen to us religiously, you probably will be quick with it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. 100%. Uh, and we do have other giveaways, but we'll announce them later. Um, and the reason for some of these giveaways, man, I feel blessed, bro, from this podcast, just everything. Este, it's just... It feels good, you know, to to give back sometimes a little bit, you know. It's the it's not it's not it's not like we're giving back a hundred thousand dollars, nothing like that, nothing crazy, you know. Because hey, pockets ain't deep, bro. We pockets ain't, ain't deep. We ain't Ellen. We ain't Oprah. Y'all no. better chill out. No, <laughs> like you getting Amazon card, you getting no, no, none of that, bro. <laughs> but if y'all see us in the street, y'all should give us something. Yeah, like, yeah for real. Shit. I, yeah, we. Yeah. Hey, I'll man. take it. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> no, but yeah, no, we do feel blessed. I feel blessed, and and it's the it's the support, and then we have this like podcast community support in chicago um obviously thanks to el, el compa carlos from the walk pod from compuros compas i mean shout out to las chingonas for real for real uh los boys también el, el compa este abner from uh carnales podcast bro that's like it, it's a it's a badass support that we have and and it's um it's awesome bro to see everybody put each other on share each other's episodes every time it comes out you know hell yeah that's love man that's love and that's that's how we grow So, you know, staying united, you get you get further, bro. You get you get to reach more people. Um, and it's positive, dog. You know, everything that's, that's moving in a positive way, you know, is going to get further in life. You know what I mean? I agree. I agree. Um, and that's actually one of the little topics that I wanted to bring up, man. Just giving back. Um, I mean, in different scenarios, right? Seeing someone on the street, you know, they're panhandling and you want to give them something. Um, in any other kind of way, I mean, you just kind of gave someone recently, bro, like something kind of major, no? Or you don't want to talk about that? Well, I didn't plan to talk about it, no. But um, but hey, you you gave something, bro, right. and that's that's fucking awesome, bro. Like so, neta, it's it's fucking badass. You like you say, you didn't have to, it wasn't planned, but you did it, compa, and that's fucking awesome, bro. Right. So yeah, so we we bless uh, one of my tias with with the vehicle, you know, like it was our. Well, I think we had the car probably for like six years or something, you know. It was an older car, you know, but she needed a car, um, and actually my wife was the one with the idea, bro, um, of giving it to my aunt, you know. And I, I was like, oh, that's that's real dope, you know. Um, she was in need of a car, and she was in a certain situation, and she and she's been kind of dealing with a lot of things in life, you know. So. That came up, bro, and my, and my wife came up with the idea. She's like, hey, you've been talking about buying a new car for a, for, for a while. You know, like, you're going to sell this car, you know? They're probably going to give you nothing if you trade it in. She's like, why don't you just give it to your aunt? You know, like, this is somebody important in your life, and she, and she definitely is 100%, you know? Growing up, she she always would watch us and take care of us, and she's always showed a lot of love, bro. Um, and just as of recently, she's she's gone through some tough times, you know? And, and yeah, I was like... You know, I'm not going to take the credit, you know, and say it was my idea. It's my wife idea, you know, and then we came together and she's like, hey, I think it's a good idea. We should do it. And I agreed, bro. And um, we actually surprised her with a car like, uh, I want to say two weeks ago or something like that. Yeah, about yeah, two so, weeks ago. Um, yeah, if, I mean, it feels good, bro. Any Anytime. And my wife was like, 
whenever we need something, you know, like people are always pulling through, bro. You know, and and honestly, that's the honest truth, bro. Siempre las amistades o la familia, bro, always pulling through for us when we need something, bro. Um, and it feels great to do it back. You know what I mean? To be able to do it back. You know what I mean? And um, yeah, so I didn't know, dude. I didn't know you were gonna bring that up. You talking about I hey. had a story. <laughs> You're like I had a story. I got a story to pull up, and then you you questioned it like surprises, bro. Yeah, surprises, I was like, damn, man. bro. Like, and I wasn't ready, guys. I wasn't ready for that. But sorry, bro. I put you on the spot like that. Like, no, nah, I just well, I wasn't ready. I didn't know you were gonna say that, bro. <laughs> but um, no, nah, I mean it's nothing bad. I mean I'm I'm pr I'm proud of you know, um, I'm proud of my wife first of all, bro, for being able to you know, come up with something like that and have a like that huge of a heart, that kind of a heart to say, hey. You know, because that second vehicle, bro, we would still use it, you know, yeah, yeah. all the time. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's not like we're, like, loaded with money and we've already gone to buy a new car or something, you know? Like, we know, we're still stacking up to to prepare to go buy a car. You know, you already know the journey with there's, that, bro. There's a Bentley in my garage right now that he <laughs> he drove up in. He, he fronting, man. He ain't capping no right now. He ain't capping. no damn Bentley. <laughs> I got two hoodies, a burgundy one and a green one. They're both Copa Sun Filter. You already know. And y'all see me in it all the time. So, nah, we, I mean, we're still stacking up. You know, we're trying to prepare to go buy something. But you already know how it is no, when yeah. you go to a dealership, bro. Hey, actually, real quick, side note. For anybody that's a car salesman or works at a dealer, they know of a dealership that are like good people, you know, that are, I guess, straight sellers, you know, straight shooters, bro. Like, um, send them over our way, you know, DM us on Compass on Filter or DM me directly or whatever, you know, like, because I really don't want to go sit in a dealership and waste a lot of time and then they try to F you over. So, but if y'all know anybody, but yeah, I just got sidetracked it, but that's, that was my story behind that as of recently. How was uh, her reaction, bro, if, you, if we don't mind uh, getting into it? Right. No, nah, I mean, her reaction was like, um, she didn't know, bro. So we pulled up, you know, and this is, you know, out of state. So we drove up and this is our family. So um, she probably thought we were going to sell it to her, you know, because I think my dad had mentioned like, oh, he wants to buy a new car. Like, if you're just going to get it something used, you should just get that. Um, and we really didn't really talk about it. You know, we just kind of like said, hey, whenever you sign here, like this is going to be yours, you know, like on the title. Okay. Um. And yeah, and she was like, she was really happy, bro. I got pictures of it and stuff like that, you know? She was happy. She she was happy to to receive something like that. I'm sure she's excited, you know, yeah. to drive it. That's badass, bro. Yeah. Neta. Like, when you had told me that, what, what, what you were going to do, and I was like, damn, bro, that's fucking dope as fuck, you know? Because you didn't have to, and you guys did it, and you know, to say it's your wife's idea. Yeah, yeah. And you guys did it out of your, kind, kind of your heart, you know what I mean? Like, and that, that's, that's dope. And it's, you know, it's, it's family, bro. You know? It's family, bro. And the biggest thing, bro, like when somebody's going through through tough times, dude, I feel like that's the biggest thing, bro. Like you can do something real kind for them and hopefully that changes their perspective, you know, of what they're going through and like and and kind of give them a little bit of light at, at the end of the tunnel, bro. You know what I mean? Like to something to look forward to or, um, hey, there's still good people out there or good things still happen. You know what I mean? Like That idea. You know what I mean? Like it's not even the material yeah. thing behind it. I mean, obviously, that's cool that she got a car, you right. know, to go to work to and stuff like that. But um, I think the the initial thought for my wife was like, hey, we have to show her that, you know, right. there's still a light. There's still, you know, good things happening in her life. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so, yeah, that, that was the thing, bro. <clears throat> yeah. And that's that's why that's why I wanted to touch on is the, that. I mean, it doesn't have to be like. Uh, money or materialistic stuff that uh, giving back um, advice support that that's all that was one of the things I mean that's why I mentioned um, the the community thing that we have with with a local Chicago podcast you know what I mean because that goes a long way también um, and then you guys también I mean the messages the feedback all that all that all that support all that like you know it's, it's like giving back yeah, that shit's awesome bro you know hell um, yeah you know uh, like I said I mean I use the, the example of panhandling. Um, however you guys feel at that, you know, everybody has different opinions or look at that, but I mean, it doesn't have to be someone like that, but just, you know, and you're within your own family, within your friends, um, like I said, it doesn't have to be money. It doesn't have to be anything you have to give them, but I mean, advice, advice as a support, you know, all that goes a long way. Hell yeah. Staying, staying positive, man. Stay. Anytime you see somebody out there, uh, how, how do you feel about that, bro? Whenever, when somebody's, um. Uh, panhandling or asking for money or whatever like you drive up to the light and they're asking for money like do you you know give them money or not nine out of ten bro no 
I, I'm not gonna front, bro. Nine out of ten, I don't. Um, I uh, when I what I do offer though, I'll be like food, or I'll like if I if I do have a chance to like get some gift cards, um, like McDonald's, lo que sea, algo para comer, you know, I'll offer them that. And it's because I mean, like sometimes you do offer them, like hey, but I could go to the McDonald's real quick. I go to Burger King, like I said, for some kind of fast food joint. They're like no, 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 I'll just take a five, and it's like. Well then, yeah. Then you're probably not hungry. Yeah, bro. You know what Same I mean. Problem. That's that's one way. But when then there are people that are like, you know what? Yeah, yeah, bro. That'd be dope. Can you get me a number? Ooh, ooh. you know, like, all right, cool, bet. Like, I got you, bro. Um, but as far as like, I mean, I don't know. As I said, pe- people have different opinions about that. Um, with what they actually give or whatnot. Me, except nine out of ten, I don't. And when I do, it's like I do offer um, something else besides actually money. money, you know? What about yourself? Like, what do you feel about that? I'm not the biggest on, like, giving out money uh, on the street like that. Um, but I, I caught myself, like, in the winter, bro, when it's super cold and they're still out there, dude. Like, then they kind of get me. You know what I mean? Like, and I never carry a lot of money in my wallet anyways, bro. A couple, you know, a couple, five yeah. or ten or a couple bucks, you know? And, um, you know, I'll give a five, a, a few bucks, you know? Yeah, I don't have, I don't, I'm, I'm, I don't carry money like that, bro. But in the winter, I caught myself like, yeah, like, you know, like maybe in the summer, I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't feel as bad. But tal friazo compa aquí in Chicago, and it's snowing, and they're still out there on the light, bro. Like, dude, and, and if we think we got good coats, bro, and, and we're cold as hell, imagínate esos compas, you yeah. know? Yeah. So it's like that's when I I caught myself. My wife is total opposite of me, bro. She's like, she sees somebody, she's like, wants to give. Right she away. does give. Oh, she does <laughs> give. Yeah, yeah, she does give, bro. So, yeah, I don't know. And she looks at me like I'm gonna say something. I'm not gonna say anything. That's you, you know what I mean? Like, but she'll look like, are you gonna say something? Like you're gonna be like, why are you giving it? You know, I don't say anything. I don't. Yeah, this is what it is, you know. Like, to me, it's more like the danger behind it. You know what I mean? Like, también. Yeah. Um, she might open her window and something may happen or you know what I mean like she'll tell me like oh when I was driving up like somebody was asking for money and I, I gave you know that is what worries me the most I don't care about her giving money I, I'm glad that she's that type of person but I do tell her like, yo be careful like some of these people aren't you know who you who you think they are you know what I mean like I'm not saying that they're not going through tough times but sometimes they have you know ill will intentions you know what I mean yeah but and you know what we don't really see too much of that bro i mean at least it's because maybe because we live in the burbs yeah um but i know obviously when we take that trip to chicago you know, yeah it's it's you know you see a lot of people panhandling y los paisas, pues, no, bro. I thought, you, know, you don't really see paisas, mexicans you know doing that but le están echando chingadazos man you know que es agua o vendiendo flores o lo que sea right ahí sí bro like even though you know I don't I don't you know need to buy flowers or whatever like I'm on my way to do something else bro like not even with my wife like I said I'll I'll buy them bro really yeah I will I remember in Cali they would sell like oranges and stuff like that bro and fruit you know I have I don't I mean I don't go to the city that much bro but they say I do see the flower people you know here and there but no I I, I hardly stop dude I'm that type of person I'm like if I'm on my way somewhere bro I don't really stop. They go lately in the winter, bro. I was stopping for these people that were standing in the cold. I'm like, dude, how long can you really stand there? You know, it's probably been a long day, you know? Yeah. So then I'll, I'll, I've given, you know, but no mas, compa, I'm not a big. I mean, I like to help, dude, but like not in that, you know what I mean? Like I do other things, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, it's another thing I wanted to touch on, bro. It's, I uh, mean, because we're talking about money, we're talking about giving back. Um, it's, it's not related you know uh, really but um it, it was just um how much we i don't know it's never enough money's never enough it seems like i don't know about yourself but it's kind of like you know we we make so much looking sad but it's kind of like damn pues queremos ser más, or you know our parents went through this and um I, you know you we, t- we talked about it a little bit on the, on the last episode yeah you know um and i feel it's like my my parents i mean i also grew up in the city, you know, uh, urban and whatnot, and we didn't see it as us being broke, you know. It was just kind of like that was just a way of life. And then later on, you know, move out to the to the burbs or whatever, and it's kind of like, damn, this is nice, but it's like now nah, we want more. Yeah, I think if you don't have a goal or a balance in your life, bro, you're always gonna be, um, trying to you know go for more want more and i'm not saying that that's bad bro because you don't want to be complacent either you know what i mean right 
But I do, I mean, I think that you have to have a certain goal, you know, that you want to hit, you know what I mean? And and be happy too, you know what I mean? Like, I think my biggest, my biggest thing is being happy, bro. I think that's the ultimate. I mean, so, having money is, is a nice tool, but my, my goal is always to be happy. And uh, honestly, bro, having money doesn't always bring me happiness or having materialistic thing doesn't always, you know, it's... It brings me joy at the moment when I buy something new. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Like, but um, if you if that's what gives you joy all the time, and that's how you try to stay happy, bro. Eventually, you're gonna hit you know rock bottom or a certain st- you know stage in your life where you're like, all right, that's not doing enough. And then you're gonna continue to want more, and exactly where you're going, bro. Like, and where do you stop? You know, eventually your money's gonna run out. You don't have enough money to go. You know, right, right, right. To keep buying shit. So money is like kind of second to you. Or is it further further down on your list? I mean, I know happiness is, is it's major, and uh, I'm assuming, you know, family for sure. I know you're a bit you know huge on family. So yeah, so I mean, I think people are gonna be you know like if you put it on the list, you know, people want to hear you know, you know, God, family, happiness, you know, or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, was that your list? I don't want to say that because I would feel like I would be a hypocrite, bro, if I was like, oh, you know, like, yeah, I, I do believe in God. I do believe, you know, and I pray to God and everything, bro. But I feel like I want that to be first. You know what I mean? And then you have a family and kids and you're like, you cherish them so much. You know what I mean? Right. Like, so it's like, I, I want that to be my list. Yeah. So, but is it, you know, like if, if God was first, bro, then you'd be living different. You know what I mean? Does that make sense or not? Nah? Yeah. Like yeah. you be living, you know what I mean? And like, I feel like I don't live like that. So I, I don't want to say that, you know, but I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm sure people will understand, but for sure, money's not on the top. Like, I would, I love, yeah, it's nice having it, you nah, know? Yeah. We yeah. saw the Bentley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice having it, you know what I mean? If you have a little bit of money in the bank and you're not living check to check. And I mean, yeah, it, it feels good, you know, to not be stressed about money. Um, but then one of my compadres told me some some dope too. Like, yo, man, when you become or you have money, bro, then your life revolves around keeping that money yeah. or not losing that money or making more money, you know. And then it becomes that's your priority again, you know. It's like, fuck, well, shit. When we're broke, we're like, oh, shit, we gotta make money, we gotta make money. Like, we can't be broke, we can't be broke. And then I guess whenever you're not broke, you know, like now you're protecting the money, you know, like you, you don't want to lose it. You're investing. You don't want, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then that becomes the thing. You know, I'm like, damn, like, all right, maybe I don't want to be there either. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I, I, happiness, balance, bro, family, God. Those are probably the, the key things that I focus on in life, bro. Happiness is a huge part. Huge, bro. Yeah, I, I can agree. I can agree with that. Um, the reason I, I I wanted to talk about this too is because um, earlier I had talked to him, compa, and we were talking about money and retirement and and you know and whatnot. Um, and he was just like, "Man, it's like tengo chance de retirarme un poco más tempranón." And I'm like, "That's fucking awesome, bro!" You know, like, how, how, what is tempranón, dude? Like, he's talking about that. Like, he's getting out of work early. No, nah, like, <laughs> like you know, it was not sixty two. You know, or 65, whatever it is, you know, I was all like, that's what's up, bro. Like, and he's like, would you do it? He asked me. And I was like, bro, financially, if I was stable and, and, and what, like, you know, look at that, like if finance was not an issue, it wasn't a concern. It was, I'm good, bro. In a heartbeat. Like, why, why would I? Because he was like, oh, este, si me quedo X amount of years more, pues voy a ganar más. Like towards his pension, towards his, you know, yeah. retirement y todo eso. So, I was just like, man, but honestly, like at that age, bro, like especially if you can retire younger and and um and enjoy the rest of your life with your wife, your kids, grandkids, um why not, bro? Like para qué trabajar tanto para para qué? I mean, I guess, you know, you can argue like you want to uh, secure your family's future, pero it's just, I guess, to me, like, I don't know if it's old school or we just didn't really think like that. It's kind of like, now I want to say everybody's on their own. But <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. But you, you know what? Or, or, I don't nah, know. No, I don't think so. But to me, it's like, it goes back to this this one compadre, my compadre Esteban. Shout out, man. He's like, he, saludos, his, saludos. yeah, man. He's he's always fucking giving me uh, insight and shit. But he's always like, man, his one of his things is like, prometeme la pa mañana. You know, like, your guy could be saying like, oh, I'm going to work. 
just a little bit more to get more. Well, what if you don't get to live that long? Now you now you would have been retired and lived five years on retirement, but you decided to work those five years and then at those five years, like you're no longer here. Something happened, right. you know? Like, I mean, God forbid, I'm just saying, like giving an example, you know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, I mean, just cherish every moment, bro, because you never know. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, well, that was, that was my thought as well. Porque... It's like, yeah, you can work X amount of years more to get to to get more money or whatever. But it's like, you know, God forbid, algo te pasa, and then you can't enjoy the rest of it. But I guess you can argue. What if you live long as hell, <laughs> or what? <laughs> no, well, more so like you know, because then the your family gets the money, right? Your wife gets it. So, so then, that's where I was going too, bro. I, I believe that's where the balance would get to. You know, que es importante también the balance, right? Um. Like for my situation, bro, where I, you know, I work a nine to five, you try to do a little bit of investing here. You have life insurance, you know, like covering most bases, bro. So in case something does, since we don't have money, bro, in case something does happen, hey, you know, there's something left, you know. But I mean, I don't, it's not like I'm working every day to be like, I'm building an empire for my kids to live on. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like. Sometimes that can help them or hurt them, bro. You know, if you give them everything, bro, then what are they going to want to go work for? What do they want to achieve? What are going to be their goals? You know what I mean? Like, if they're already set. Yeah. I mean, what if you're spoiling them, bro? Like, you know what I mean? Like, they, they probably could have been something great, but since you gave them everything in a, you know, silver platter, now they, they have no hunger, bro. They want nothing. They need for nothing. You know what I mean? Like, so you think you're doing the best for them, but really, you, you hurt them. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you're... In the long run. Right. In the long run, or even if they're doing well now, you know what I mean? Like, I feel, I think we talked about that in the last episode, bro. We're like, we overprotect them. We give them everything we, we didn't have. And, you know, it should be, you know, the opposite of that, bro. Like, you should give them, you know, knowledge that you didn't have, not material things that you didn't have. You know what I mean? Like, hey, this is how we're going to do it. You know what I mean? Like, yes. but then other people that are out there, bro, are like generational wealth. You know, like, this is how we build our family name. And, like, I work for my last name. And, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's different ideologies, bro. And I I don't know. I don't know. That's a tough one, dude. It's it is, one. it is, it is. Because then yeah, you, you start you start thinking about generational wealth. So it's like, you know, um because obviously el, el compa is obviously he, he works for someone. Okay. You know? So obviously he's talking retirement, he's talking whatever. Because if if you have I don't know, let's say properties and whatnot you're working for yourself you know you're investing to yourself you're investing in into your future into you know whatever yeah and yeah see algo te pasa god forbid um at least the properties are there you know the, your kids your grandkids get you know that but it's like i don't know i mean i guess you don't know where you stand on that yeah uh a lot of people también compa they're, they're like um have you ran into people that their parents own businesses and the kids have that they want nothing to do with it? Yeah. And you're like, dude, I wish my parents had a business, dude. I'd want to run it, you know? Yeah. I'm not saying that it'll be fun, but I'm saying you wouldn't have to work for anyone else. You'd be working for your own name. I mean, that'd be nice. You know what I mean? But that's, I mean, I don't know. It, it's always like, it's, it's a hard one, bro. And for people listening, Comment, you know, comment on the on the YouTube, comment on Instagram, wherever, you know, like, what are your thoughts? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. generational wealth, you know, or, you know, be happy. Yeah, that's Money's a tough not one. important, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, for me, myself, bro, personally, I, I don't have kids. Pero I, I think as long as me and my wife are okay, and as long as I helped enough, because I'm assuming by that age, my kids are already working. My kids are already probably already have a career, hopefully. Este, and they should, you know, if I can at least try to get them out of college or get them through college or, or, or whatever, I mean, anything else, bro, it'd be like for my grandkids. But even that, bro, like putting them through college, dude, I'm like, I'm hoping my son's like, yo, dad, I'm going to go to work, you know, so I can pay, help you pay for college, you know? I mean, it would be nice if I have the money and I'm like, hey, go to school, you know, I got you, you know? Yeah, of course, I can do it. If I can do that, I'll do it. But, what I want him to have the initiative to be like, well, I know you got it, dad, but you know what? I'm, I'm working a part time. I, I want to pay for my school, too. Dope. Or I want to pay for my books. Dope. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. My thing was, is so it's like, OK, so let's say like you, you can't retire early. Let's just, let's just throw the age 55. And at that age, 
<clears throat> your your kid you already helped pay for your kid's college you know so now it's it's more so like do you still work house is paid off look like i said whatever you think you're financially stable however whatever whatever in your mind in your mind you know, is yeah it's set you're set do you retire or do you keep working to secure an extra whatever x amount of dollars for retirement you know because like now your kids are set yeah ya fueron a la escuela ya están trabajando ya están you know whatever so to me it's not even about like are you gonna have enough or not you know it's more like okay so they say when you retire bro like you know people die quicker bro they're not active enough they're not doing enough you know i feel like work isn't bad you know what i mean like maybe working as much as we do now is probably not good you know what i mean like Oh, uh, people in other countries taking naps and shit, la siesta and all that, you know? <laughs> people in Mexico are super relaxed, bro. They going to work at a certain time. Like, for here, bro, it's like stress, you know? Like, you got you to gotta get to work on time. Be like, you got to be there, you know? Like, you well, can't call off. You can't, you know? So I feel like it's a different thing. But if, if I could retire at 55, bro, I would. You know what I mean? Like, but then I, I know there would be limitations, bro. I know, but we've been on a budget all our life, bro. What else do we know? You know what I mean? Right. It's not like... That's what I'm saying. Like, you keep chasing this dream that, all right, you're going to be baller, you know? Like, and I'm not saying that it's a bad thing. Cool. You know, if you get there, you get there. Great. You know? Is that my main priority? Negative. You know what I mean? But to me, it's like, you're not, if, you, if you don't want to retire at 55, bro, don't let it be because you don't have enough money. You know? Right. Let it be because you want to continue to work, to stay healthy, to keep your mind, you know, working, you know, to keep your mind positive. Stuff like that. I mean, at 55, bro, if I can retire and I'm, I'm good, I don't have to stress about, you know, money or not, not that we'll have enough, but just have enough, you know, I'd probably be like, yeah, man, let's retire. Let's try to, you know, if we could still take a vacation or two th during the year, let's do it, you know, yeah, stuff like that. I guess it gets harder as, as you get to that age, bro, to to make decisions like that. You think it'd be get, get easier, though, but who knows, man? <laughs> I, I'm. I mean, also it's because uh, some of the coworkers that I've that I've worked with or whatever, and they've been, you know, they come to that age of retirement, and they're like, man, I just hit sixty two, or I'm about to hit sixty two. Like I'm out this motherfucker, bro. Like June hits, fuga, and I'm like, damn, bro. Like you ain't even trying to stay. You're like man, like if I stay an extra couple of years, yeah, I get X amount of dollars more. And it's like, man, I don't want to die here. And that has always stuck with me, bro. I don't want to die here. I don't want to die here. <clears throat> we're actually, today, I don't know, I forgot what my wife and I were talking about, bro. And she's like, um, oh, the company you work for is like, it's been great. You know, like, it's awesome that you have so many benefits and this and that. And um, and I was like, yeah, but I don't, I don't want to retire there. You know, like, and she's like, really? I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to retire there. I want to, you know, like, once we get to a certain step, you know, or a milestone in life, like, there has to be something more, you know, there has to be the, the next, you know, the next thing, like what is going to be the next thing? I don't know what it is, you know, but something, you know, it'll be something different, bro. Uh, one thing that I noticed, bro, since we, you know, we've been friends for a long time, bro. So, and, you know, in our teen years from, you know, 17 years old to our 25, you know, it was a different mentality, bro. Now from 25 to 34, different mentality, uh, different type of money you know, different priorities. So I feel like as you keep growing, you know, you know, a lot of people say 30s are the best years, you know what I mean? Because everything starts getting better. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you worked your whole freaking life already pretty much, you know what I mean? I've been working since I was like 14, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So I don't know what it is behind it, but right, right. things are changing, bro, and aligning and, and setting up for your, you know, your stability, I guess, financial stability, you know, family, everything, bro. So I feel like, when I hit 40 years old, bro, I should be at a different, you know, different situation already. So you always hope that it gets better and better and better and you plan for that. You know what I mean? So it's like without it being your priority, solito se va alineando, se va alineando. Se va. So I, I was like, I was shocked that she, she didn't think like I was going to retire there. I mean, I don't know if I will. I mean, hopefully not. Hopefully I'm doing a little bit better, you know, yeah. well, not that it's bad. No, I, mean, no, no, I like where I'm all, at. Bro. You know what I mean? But no. I definitely want to see some progress también you know what i mean like al pasito but we'll get there you know como dicen uh steady wins the race slow and steady wins the race yeah so i mean that's that's kind of the the way i look at it bro but i mean things have been changing bro and our you know every 10 years bro we're in a different situation bro and it's always been better that's adios you know that's adios yep so and look at us now podcasting podcast bro. 
not doing nothing. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, real quick. Obviously, we got to we gotta throw in that sponsor in there, that sponsorship, Lumbre Mix. Lumbre we'll Mix. We'll be right back after this. What up? Shout out to our sponsor, Lumbre Mix, some of the best michelada mix around. They also have chamoy for all your beverage rim needs in three flavors, original, mango, and watermelon. Put that thing on everything. Also, for all the candy lovers, they have watermelon gummies and peach rings. It's a mix of gummy candy with chamoy. Just fire. Now follow all of their social media to see what store is near you. Y que, que no se apague la lumbre. True. We're back. We back. We back. Compa some filter, baby. Make sure y'all follow Lumbre Mix, man. Hey. What's up? He's in Merrill's Park now. He's getting so, everywhere, bro. Toda la raza que anda en Merrill's Park. And you, now you guys see, or, or if you haven't yet, you got to add the Snapchat for Lumina Mix. Just go to Lumina Mix. I'll put those everything giveaway, below. Those giveaways, man. man those, uh, give- ¿Cómo se dice? Los, los, uh, que dice, it's been claimed, you know? Like, uh, damn, what the fuck does he call it? Drop nah. drop bags or something like something that. Something like that. If you follow the Snapchat, you know what you know, I'm talking about. You know, and then but, I, every time I look at it, I'm like, ah oh, man, I'm late. And then I'm like, oh damn, I'm far. <laughs> <laughs> so compa Isaías, pongas a pilas, compa. Andamos ahí en Hannibal Park, man. Hook us up. <laughs> no, but for real though, toda la raza de Morrow's Park, North Lake, uh, Lake Stone Street. Park. I saw you on Lake, yeah? Yeah, yeah. He was uh I think he picked up este Azteca Lakers mm-hmm. um over there in Morrow's Park. And uh, another spot, man. Cermak? Oh, he picked up a Cermak in Chicago. Man, that's dope, man. Oh, speaking of Chicago, I don't know if they're going to announce anything yet. So we don't want to say anything to Chingonas. Talk about it. Congrats. I don't want to say it for you guys, pero si lo anuncian, congrats, girls. You guys deserve it. Shout out. Saludos, saludos. Um, then what were we talking about? We're talking about give not giveaways. I mean, we did talk about the giveaways. <laughs> we're talking about giving, 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 yeah. giving. Yo, and, and talking about coming back to that, bro. So, what was your um? So, I gave you kind of my list, you know, God, family, being happy, you know, like what's your list like, bro? Bro, like, hopefully my mom doesn't watch this, bro, because she's gonna be like, you better put God first. That's ah. what I'm saying, though, bro. Like, I feel bad though when you don't, you know, because. <laughs> If well, you don't, it's a sin, bro. Like, you're going to hell. No, but I'm saying, like, if you're not really living righteous like that, you're not following the God's path and all. You know what I mean? Like, it's kind of hard to be a hypocrite and be like, oh, I put God first on the list, but then you don't really follow that. You got, does yeah. that make sense? No, bro? I get you. It's well, yeah, just, you better put him first, fool. I, yeah. I, I, I got to put him first. No, it's, it's not that I'm not, re- I'm, I guess I'm not. I'm not, I'm, from, I'm not religious. I don't go to church every Sunday. I don't, you know, do the whole nine, you know? Like, yeah. It, it is what it is. Do I believe in a God or whatever? That's in a whole other subject, yeah. bro. Pero, um, si le doy gracias a Dios. So, yes, I guess I'll put God first. I, I guess that's, I should You're be trying to save yourself right now? Ah, <laughs> mom, I'm sorry. I know she be watching now, bro. She be watching YouTube, bro. She really? Watching, yeah. I think my parents started watching too, bro. They're probably disappointed. Different. <laughs> <laughs> All this cussing we be doing, bro. Bro, for real. Well, me. I don't even know if you do. I do a little bit. I, I try to hold back. <laughs> well, now I'm going to have to try to hold back. Nah, 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 nah. Unfiltered. Fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not kidding um, me on that one, bro. <laughs> I'm sure it'll come out natural. You know? Um, so yeah, so I guess you know I got I, I can't just be saying I guess God God primero you know primero Dios thank God right <laughs> don't look at me like I'm the I don't know I don't you're know. the only one in this room right now bro that's yeah judging but I'm you. saying that I'm, I don't know about your you, list YouTube ain't judging I, me right now I'm not judging you bro it's it's your list man I just put yeah. it out there I put them first but then I was like yo bro like I'm not trying, trying to be a hypocrite trying like, to save yourself <laughs> nah <laughs> no I was just trying to be like I know I'm not living like. His path, you know what I mean? Like, there's very few people that live that path, bro. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm sure even they struggle, you know? Yeah. But I just didn't want to, I felt like a hypocrite saying that, putting them first, but knowing that, like, I don't put them. Y'all I know, know what you mean. Know. I know what you mean, bro. Um, and, I, and I'm also not living the path. You but know I guess I mean? you put them first, bro, because you do want to. You know what I mean? Right. Does that make sense? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, it would be God. Um, definitely happiness, like second, it's the second, then after, yeah, and then, um, yeah, well, money, bro, because obviously, money does help, money doesn't buy happiness, it, well, it can a little bit. I think temporary, it, temporary happiness, is that 
You know what they say though, bro? Like, oh, follow your dream. Follow, you know, follow what you love and it'll bring, you know, like, don't worry about the money. The money will come after, you know? And then I'm like, yeah, crazy as hell. That shit's never come. I got a lot of shit that makes me happy that does not bring me money at all. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's gonna leave me broke. You know what I mean? Well, going going to um, uh, Islas and spending money on music, that shit don't bring, I mean, it's happiness, bro, but that shit don't oh, bring that money. Shit brings me tons of joy. Hey, for That's everybody, for the people that don't know me, one of my biggest pleasures is having live music you know agarrar músicos or whatever oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, that's one of my biggest pleasures um, it's also one of the things I probably spent the most money on that was you know a waste of money but not a waste and awesome that, well, memories well yeah yeah well, I'm saying, awesome you know, memories like, when you look back and you're like, damn, we spent a lot of money. That could have been a, a nice investment in something or, you know. No, nah, spend that money. I'm a musico. Go ahead. <laughs> get that bang. Get that tamborazo. Get that bang. Get that tamborazo. But Segway. yeah, for the people that don't know me and for the people that know me, they already know, like, that's one of my biggest, you know, uno de los placeres que me gusta más, you know what I mean? And, and, and it's not easy and it's not cheap. But, um, yeah, I'm guilty of that. Well, segue into that. We're talking about musicos. For sure. That's a good segue, bro. That is a good segue. Perfect. Go Perfect. ahead. Shout it out, bro. Our giveaway. This is our our, our big big giveaway. Um, we're going to have more giveaways, and they're going to be kind of random. So you definitely want to subscribe to YouTube. You want to follow all of our social media, and it's going to be all over the place. Sometimes we'll drop it on Instagram. Sometimes we'll do it on Facebook, you know, with, like, merch. Or as the compa say, yes, already gave us permission that we could give away some, lim- some Lumbre mix, you know, stuff like that. It, it's that's you know or maybe more amazon cards i don't know we'll come up with something we'll come up with something our giveaway we already did it once we're gonna do it again do una vez fuck it um it's getting nicer out there everybody wants to party una hora de tamborazo de la cristalera who else right you already know hey uh what do you gotta do same thing and this is your first time listening and watching us subscribe to the youtube follow all of our social media now, last time it was hectic, bro, because I was trying to like cross reference, I guess, uh, names to who's actually um, subscribed to, you know, all of our uh, social media and, and the YouTube. That one was hard because you guys change your names or privacy settings or whatever. This, yeah. So now it's going to be take a screenshot that you're subscribed, that you follow us on our social media, Instagram and Facebook. Yeah, we're, we're not really going to push Twitter, but Instagram and Facebook and you're subscribed to the YouTube channel and you're entered. That's it. And you get one hour free. Make sure you screenshot, screenshot, screenshot. And uh, I can't, man, to be honest, I can't stress this enough. Um, subscribe to our YouTube. If you're, you know, an avid listener, you listen to us all the time every Wednesday or whenever a new episode comes out and you, you always listen, but you have not subscribed Help us out. Subscribe. If you already do subscribe and you listen to the episodes, man, hit that like button on that YouTube video to help the algorithm push the video more, man. We're trying to really get it out there. And um, man, that would do us a huge solid. You know, para todos los listeners, los que están escuchando, denle like al, al YouTube video. Si no están su, um, subs- suscritos, ¿o cómo se dice? I'm going to let you have that one. <laughs> <laughs> si no están suscribido. <laughs> Um, is that right? You know, I don't know. Subscribe, you know, subscribanse. You know what I mean? And, and um, háganos el paro ahí con eso. Porque la neta es lo que nos ayuda a que el, al que el video, you know, agarre más, más views, más likes y que más gente lo escuche el podcast. So, háganos el paro ahí yeah. con eso. Shout out to my colegas, my, my, my brothers uh, de la Cristalera for, for allowing me to, to raffle off an hour. You know, yeah, and um, and man, we're, I'm I'm excited, bro. I'm excited just to just cause, like I said, we want to get. I want to give back. We want to give back. Um, I, I feel like we've been blessed. Uh, apart from the connections that we've made, uh, the people that we've met through this through through the podcast, you know, it's it's fucking awesome. It's an awesome feeling, and I just I just want to give back. I want to give back to that. So, again. Screenshot, man, because we got to tell people, man, because then they, oh, uh, you know, no, yeah, screenshot. Screenshot, all, it's going to be the easiest way. Screenshot um, that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, Instagram, and Facebook. That you, so that you're following and then you're liking the page. The other giveaway is tonight, because this is when it comes out on Cinco de Mayo, right? We said? Yeah, Cinco de Mayo, el miércoles. 
8 p.m. So hopefully you listen to this early. 8 p.m. on the Instagram page. I'm going to put in an Amazon code. Make sure you guys grab that code and or be the first one. You know, Yeah, be the first one. Add it to your account if you have Prime. If you use somebody else's Prime like I do. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, add it to that account and let them know, hey, don't, don't waste my money. That's mine. You see? But um, yeah, make sure you look out for that. And uh, I want to do a quick shout out, bro. Go ahead. Um, I'm not going to mention any names, but somebody s- sent us a message on Twitter, a DM on Twitter. Um, I'm the social media guy, but I failed because I didn't, I didn't see it. You know, I don't have my notifications on for it. Um, but I saw it now and I, I did reply, but I, we got your message. You know, if, if you sent us a DM on Twitter, uh, I did reply. So I do apologize for the delay. But oh, thank you so much for the support. Shout out. Saludos. Saludazos. And I think with this, we're going to wrap it up. Um, this is more so like a, a giveaway episode and just to talk a little bit about whatever we talked about. I don't even know anymore. Hey, life, baby. Life. Be happy. Life. Be, be happy. happy. If you take any message from this, hey, be happy. Don't be complacent. You know, work hard and That's make per- sure you have a go. Yes, sir. This is Compass Unfiltered. And we out. Unfiltered. We out, baby. Peace. Peace.